Ever wished your favorite photos could do more than just sit still? What if they could move, breathe, and tell a story? Imagine your family portraits, old memories, and AI-generated art transforming into cinematic, lifelike animations, as if they were straight out of a movie. This isn't science fiction, it's the power of AI animation. In this tutorial, I'll show you three game-changing AI tools that turn still images into stunning, animated videos, absolutely free. So, stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll be creating breathtaking AI animations with just a few clicks. Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Let's visit the Kling AI website. I click on the create button in the top right corner of the site. To create an account and log in, I click on the sign in button located at the bottom left corner. You can log in using a Google account, Apple ID, or personal email. I click on sign in with Google, select one of the open Gmail accounts, and just like that, an account is created, and I'm redirected to the Kling AI dashboard. From the bottom left corner of the site, you can access your profile settings. Upon creating an account, I receive 166 free tokens, which I can use to access AI-powered services. The main menu on the left side of the website features three key AI tools, AI image, AI video, and AI sound. Now, we want to animate AI-generated images and turn them into videos or animations. For this, I click on the video option. On the right panel, I see a list of previous images generated by this AI. Make sure to use the latest version of Kling's models. To do this, select Kling version 1.6 from the drop-down menu at the top left corner of the website as it is the latest and most updated model available at the time of this tutorial. Further down on the left panel, there are two tabs, text-to-video and image-to-video. In my previous videos, I explained the text-to-image method and how to turn ideas into pictures using Kling AI. You can find that tutorial on my channel, Iman Global. Since we've already covered that, we'll skip it in this tutorial. Make sure the image-to-video tab is selected. This panel has two sections, frames and elements. And in this tutorial, we'll be working with the frames panel. With the click drop paste option, you can upload personal images or AI generated images from other tools and animate them. You can also use the select from history option to choose previously generated AI images and start animating them. This panel allows you to upload images in JPG or PNG format with a maximum file size of 10 megabytes and a minimum resolution of 300 pixels. To do this, I click on click drop paste, select my image from the pop-up window, and upload it. Once uploaded, the image thumbnail appears in the panel. Further down, we have a prompt panel. Here, you can type in your ideas for animating the image. Kling AI will analyze your prompt and animate the image accordingly. Don't forget that you're working with AI, and its power is at your disposal. The more detailed and specific your textual instructions are, the better Kling AI will understand what needs to be done. You must provide complete information to get the best possible results. I have already written my idea, so I just paste it here. In the prompt box, at the top right corner, I click on the new option, Inspiration and Presets. A panel appears with ready-made presets for camera movements. Here, I select the camera zoom out option. Further down, there's the motion brush section, which can also help animate images. With the motion brush, you can select an object you want to move by painting over it. After brushing over the object, you can use the track tool to define its movement path. I'll go over this in more detail in future tutorials. Below that, there's the negative prompt panel, where you can list items you don't want to appear in the video. By adding them here, the AI will exclude them from the generated video or animation. Next, we have the video generation settings section. Mode. The standard mode is available in the free plan and enables faster generation speed, while the professional mode offers better visual quality, but is only available with the premium plan. Length. You can set the video length between 5 and 10 seconds. However, the 10 second option is only available in the premium plan. Number of generations. This setting determines how many videos are generated per process. In the free plan, only one video can be generated at a time, while in premium plans, you can generate multiple videos. Settings. There's a slider that lets you adjust between creativity and relevance. 
In this case, I leave it as it is. I click on generate. This deducts 20 tokens from my balance. My request is placed in the queue. After a short wait, my image is successfully transformed into a video and displayed on the screen. I click on the center of the video frame. Watching the playback, I can see that the animation perfectly follows my prompt. If you remember, I included happy, talking, and excited in the prompt, and Kling AI delivered exactly that. In the top right corner of the video frame, there's a download button, allowing you to save the video to your device for free. However, keep in mind that videos generated in the free plan come with a watermark. To download watermark-free videos, you'll need to purchase the premium plan. Hovering over the three-dot icon in the top right corner of the video frame reveals the delete option, allowing you to remove the video if needed. If you're not happy with the results of your generate, don't worry. Experiment multiple times, tweak your prompts and settings, and try again. With a bit of testing and persistence, you'll get a fantastic AI-generated video. The second tool I introduce for animating still images and turning them into videos is the Hiluo AI. We visit the Hiluo AI website. Currently, the homepage of this AI is in Chinese, but there is no need to worry. We can translate it into our desired language. I am using the Chrome browser, so I click on the translate icon at the top of the site. This option is available in other browsers as well. Here, I select English as the target language. As you can see, the website interface has now changed to English, the language I selected in this case. Next, I click on the video link. Again, I set the website language to English using the translate option. Then, I click on sign in, located in the upper right corner of the site. This opens a window for registration and login. There is an option to log in using Google or Apple accounts. I select continue with Google, choose one of my signed in Gmail accounts, and log in. The user profile icon is located in the upper right corner of the website. Next to the profile, you can see the amount of credit available in the free plan. At the time of publishing this tutorial, you can clearly see that I am using the free plan. These plans may change in the future. From the left-hand menu, I click on Create Video. On the new page, the right panel lists videos I previously generated using this AI. On the left panel, there are tabs for Image to Video, Text to Video, and Subject Reference. For this tutorial, ensure that the Image to Video option is selected. This new feature supports JPG and PNG images up to 20 megabytes, with a minimum short side of 300 pixels and an aspect ratio between 2 to 5 and 5 to 2. I click on click to upload an image, select the image I want to animate from my hard drive, and upload it. Depending on the file size, the upload process takes a short time, after which a thumbnail of the image appears. After uploading the image, I scroll down to the prompt box. Here, I need to describe all my expectations for animating the image in text format so the AI fully understands which elements to animate. At the bottom right of the prompt box, I click on the presets button. This section provides predefined animation movements and conditions, allowing you to animate your image in the simplest way based on standard settings. Next to the presets option, there is a new feature for camera movements. I click on it, and a panel appears, visually displaying different cinematic camera movements. You can select any of these based on your preference. Here, I choose right circling for the camera movement. As you can see, a code is added to the prompt box. Additionally, I have my own animation idea for this image. So, before this code, I paste the custom prompt I prepared earlier. To animate and convert this image into a video, I click on Generate. This deducts 30 tokens from my credit. My request is added to the queue. After a short while, the AI processes the request, animates the image, and converts it into a video. The thumbnail of the generated video appears. I click on the thumbnail to view the video in full size and review the result. For this first test, I am not entirely satisfied with Hiluo AI's animation, but I am also not discouraged. So, I make some modifications to the prompt and click Generate again. My request is re-added to the queue, and after a short while, the image is animated and converted into a video. As I have repeatedly emphasized, this process requires iteration. By making adjustments to the prompt text and conducting multiple tests, we can definitely achieve the ideal result. In the third part of this tutorial, I will teach you step by step how to turn images into videos and animations, animate still pictures, and bring them to life using the image to video feature of Video AI. First, we visit the Video AI website. You need to create an account. 
click on the Try Video button located at the top right corner. On the new page, click Sign In. You can log in using your Google account or personal email. I prefer clicking on Continue with Google, then selecting one of my logged in Gmail accounts to proceed. On the dashboard, clicking on the top right icon gives access to the user profile and the logout option. Next to the profile icon, you can see your available credits. By creating a new account, you get 80 free tokens per month as a starting credit. Now, from the left menu, I click on Image to Video. On the new page, I see a list of previously created videos and animations. At the top left corner, there is a model selection dropdown, where we can choose the AI model for generating videos. Currently, version 2 is the latest model released by Video AI. Scrolling down, make sure the Image to Video tab is selected. Click on Upload Image and choose the picture you want to animate from your hard drive. After uploading, the thumbnail appears in the Image to Video box. Now, we need to describe our animation idea. I want my character to simply walk forward and approach the camera. Next, we go to the Settings section. In the Duration section, free accounts can select up to 4 seconds, while the 8 second option is available only for paid plans. In the Resolution section, only Speed Mode is available for free users while 720p and 1080p are exclusive to premium plans. In the Movement Amplitude section, you can choose Small, Medium, or Large. If you want minimal animation, select Small. For more motion, choose Large. The Auto option lets Video AI decide the movement intensity based on your image and prompt. In the Amount section, you can control the number of videos generated per process. However, in the free plan, only one video can be created per generation. After setting everything up, I click Create. This generation process costs 4 tokens from my free plan. My request is added to the queue, and after a short wait, the video is ready. I hit play to review it. The result is decent, but it could be better. I repeat the process by clicking Create again, which deducts another 4 tokens. After another short wait, the new video is ready. The image to video feature works well, but repeating the generation process often leads to even better results. Now, it's time to enhance video quality. I click on the HD button in the right corner of the video frame. Upscaling the video costs an additional 4 tokens. After confirming the request, it gets processed, and soon the HD version is ready. I play it again, and the improvement in quality is noticeable. The result is satisfying, so I download the video. Everything depends on your prompt and number of attempts. If you write detailed and well-structured prompts and experiment multiple times, you will definitely achieve great results. I highly recommend this AI tool. Was this tutorial helpful? If yes, then why haven't you smashed the like button yet? Go ahead and hit like, and share this video with your friends. This tutorial is just a small drop in an endless ocean of tutorials uploaded on this channel. If you're passionate about AI, then you're in the right place. Subscribe now and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss my future tutorials. Remember, AI is the future. So embrace it today. See you in the next tutorial.